Hi, very good afternoon. Uh, before we begin, guys, uh, huge thanks just to a couple of people that chipped in a few books for the observatory. And obviously, you know, we try and give people a heads up on what to expect. Sometimes it can be life saving, other times, just good advice. Um, take a look at this photo. Yeah, uh, obviously, this is the earthquake that occurred the other day, the 6.9 magnitude earthquake that hit Ecuador. It was, um, you know, a huge event, caused a lot of damage. And uh, thankfully, not too many people have perished in there. But take a look at that woman's face. And this is what I was talking about yesterday in the video. You know, I got slammed yesterday, amongst other things. You know, I was accused of begging. You know, can you believe? Um, I was also accused of being a fear monger because I said thousands of people will die in the next six months. And there's nothing uh, strange about that. It just occurs every year. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out the fact that, you know, people live in vulnerable places around the world. Some people live in earthquake prone regions. Other people live in the path of a volcano that's going to erupt. You know, other people live on floodplains. And just because they haven't flooded in 30, 40 years, maybe 50 years, it doesn't mean they're not going to flood again. A floodplain is you know, nature's natural um, expansion tank, if you like, you know, eventually, you know, it is going to hit again. And, you know, just because, like I say, it hasn't flooded there for 30, 40 years, doesn't mean it's not going to do it in the future. You know, if you live in a place like Tornado Alley, how long do you think you can avoid, you know, a catastrophe? If you live in earthquake prone regions, how long do you think you can run the gauntlet and avoid a catastrophe in your life? You know, it just makes me uh, wonder sometimes what goes through people's heads. You know, I know that the property that you've probably paid for for all your life um, is important to you. And, you know, you've probably got friends and family living around you. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a gamble. You know that, don't you? It's only a matter of time before your luck runs out. I'm not trying to, you know, be negative here. What I'm trying to say to people is just realise that when you live in places like this, it's easy to predict the outcome. It's more easy to predict the outcome when you live in regions like this than when you don't live in regions like that. You know, if you live uh, in the Ring of Fire region on our planet, you know, there are going to be active volcanoes, there are going to be tectonic plate movements, you know, divergent zones, convergent zones, um, you know, and, you know, you're going to, you're going to experience, you know, massive earthquakes. You know, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out that, you know, tens of thousands of people lost their lives last year in natural events. And it is obvious that people are going to do the same this year and the reason why it is predictable is because people even though they know that they run a risk still choose to live in these regions like you know the big earthquake in Turkey that killed 5,500 people what you think that we're not going to get any more major earthquakes this year you don't think that people are going to perish in volcanic eruptions pyroclastic clouds you think that people's houses aren't going to get uh, torn away by tornadoes and hurricanes. Guys, this is something that occurs all the time on our planet. You know, I'm trying to bring the awareness of some of these, you know, predictable events to those people that live in these regions. Because your house is not worth more than your partner's life. It's not worth more than your children's life. And what I'm trying to say to you is don't end up like this woman in this photograph here holding on to someone, crying their eyes out because they've narrowly escaped death and they've probably lost everything they've worked for in their lives. You know what? If you live in an earthquake-prone region, then don't be surprised when an earthquake happens. You can avoid this. It can be avoided, largely. What are you waiting for? Your governments to advise you. 
to move out of these regions. They will never, ever do that. All you are to the governments, and I think you'll agree with me, is a battery. They want to charge you up, use you in the daytime for your labour, and pay your taxes, and then allow you a few hours to recharge on the evening. They're coming back week after week for your labour, your tax money, and they don't give a damn about you or your loved ones or where you live or how much risk you're at. If they cared about you, they would never allow people to live in these regions. They know the dangers, they've got the experts at hand, but they don't give you no early warnings, they don't advise that you know no more development takes place in these regions where it is prone, and they don't advise always that these houses be built to a specific standard which they can stand a moderate earthquake. You know, if the governments really cared about people, these are the things that they would make sure uh, were in place to safeguard people. But like I say, they don't give a damn. So it's down to you to look after your loved ones and make sure that you don't put yourself in any unnecessary high risk. And you know what? It is so easy to do. To check, you know, the geological uh, place of where you live and what's what's likely to happen, and you know, do a ge- you know do a do a bit of research on the environment of where you live. Know the risks of which you face, and you know, have some contingencies if you're prepared to stay in these high risk areas in this world as the climate begins to get even much worse because we're not at the equilibrium point yet guys we're going to see a lot worse than this we haven't even crossed that threshold of 40 degrees where things accelerate expect much worse events to come than this and know that if you are in vulnerable areas on this planet then you need to ask yourself the question is your house worth more than your family is your job worth more than your family you know a lot of people could save themselves a lot of heartache you know like I said yesterday there are even people listening to me right now that are still going to remain in a high risk area and in doing so the risks of harm to them and their loved ones are increasing the more times they evade the more chances of something getting them next time increases it's just luck like I've said before you know I hope that some people realize this you know you know like I say sometimes we're not financial advisors here absolutely not but you know what common sense would say that if you live in a high-risk area then there's a chance that your property could be subjected to any one of these events that we face now and they're on the increase. You know, the magnitude of earthquakes is on the increase. The frequency of tornadoes is on the increase. The frequency of um, hurricanes is on the increase. You know, it may not be one of those events that catches you out. It could be that once in a thousand year sub-zero temperature that lasts for a couple of weeks that bursts all the pipes renders you without running hot water or even electricity have you prepared for any of these things because as the risks run higher the chances of you being caught up in one of these events increases you know what I'm asking people to do is just do a little bit of work do a bit of research, know your risks and have some form of plan. If you're not prepared to move to safer places, and there are plenty around the world, I get this asked all the time, there are plenty of safe places to go. Places that have never been seriously affected by any of these events that we are experiencing, all you have to do is do a bit of research. There are thousands of locations around this world that you could go. You don't have to live in high risk areas. You know what amazes me is that 
You know, San Francisco is overdue. A massive earthquake, even California. You know, we've heard geologists uh, saying that, you know, California could just break off and end up in the ocean. San Francisco is overdue. A massive earthquake. And yet the population of these two territories is immense. It's like they, they are oblivious to the risks. As time goes on, the risks increase. You know, your property won't be worth an orange when that event happens. It's on the card. Scientists have said this is going to happen. It's just a matter of time. You know, the tension right now is building up deep beneath the ground for that to take place. And it will happen. Guarantee you. It will happen. Predicting when is almost an impossible task. But the fact that we know it's in a high-risk area means that it is going to happen. So, you've got all your eggs in one basket, you live in these high-risk areas, then, you know, don't be surprised that, you know, when that event does happen, it takes everything away from you. I mean, can you wake up and look at yourself in the mirror when you've lost all your loved ones? You know, it doesn't have to be like this. You know, there are lots of risks which we face. Some are natural, some are man-made. You know, I watch Gerald Salenti, I watch Peter Schiff. You know, these are experts on economies that have got things right time and time again. They're saying that we're facing a global economic meltdown. Not a depre- not a, um, a recession, a Great Depression. You know, we saw um, Silicon Valley Bank go bankrupt the other day. A bank that held billions of pounds go bankrupt. You think about the risks. Work out your risks and have a plan. Is all your money tied up in one place? Maybe it'd be better in a few different places. Maybe there are better banks to put your money in. You know, if you had millions and millions of pounds in that bank the other day that went bankrupt, you know, the government's only going to um, bail you out to a couple of hundred thousand, don't you? So, you know, we have seen people lose millions and millions of pounds through, you know, bad banking practices you know these things are predictable to a certain degree so you know there's no fear porn here just reality you know these things happen every year thousands of people lose their life every year and it needn't be the case because all they need to do is move to a safer region. Move out the region which is frequently being hit by any one of these events that we've talked about. And that increases, you know, the longevity of you enjoying the company of your family and loved ones. Simple as that. I'm just saying, guys, if you think we've saw the last of the disasters for this year, Trust me, we're just starting to warm up. You know, the earthquake in Turkey that took 5,500 people's lives away. And people that haven't even been recovered from the debris yet, that have lost their lives. You know, that number will increase. People that lost their lives in Syria. You know, people that have lost their lives in Ecuador. These are not the only events that are going to happen this year. We are going to see, I guarantee you this, Hundreds of thousands of people do be displaced through further flooding. We are going to see and witness more atrocities related to earthquakes. And we are going to hear about a lot more events that are not just naturally occurring, but also created by man. It's like these people that live in New York. Let me tell you something, there is no no security there for anyone if you know the economy tanks and we end up back in a recession uh, a depression which is on the cards 
you know, these people will lose the jobs, will lose the homes. You know, we've seen it recently on, you know, mainstream and uh, alternative media. You know, people in the United States queuing up in a mile long queue for food handouts. How long before it knocks on your front door, these events? That's all I'm trying to say here is I'm not trying to frighten anybody. Goodness me, no. What I'm trying to do is just say to people, you know what? You have options. There are always alternatives. And right now, you have an opportunity to get ahead of the game. You can figure out what I'm trying to say. Without even me saying it. You know, what amazes me, and, and I know why people use the term begging. It's not that we're begging here, you know, because it's not mandatory. You don't have to support us. You know, at the end of the day, you don't support us. We're no longer here. Simple as that. You know, and I've seen how people react. You know, these people that, you you know, that say things like this, they, they're, not, they're not good in their hearts. They're bad people. These people aren't going to get anywhere in life. You know, I'm not a very religious person, but I believe me, I do understand karma. You know, these people's rewards are coming to them. If you're good, the rewards will be likewise. And if you're bad, likewise. Don't expect nothing when you're a wicked person in this life. And if you haven't learned that out yet, you will do. I'm a strong believer in karma. These people will mock and ridicule others and laugh and then they find themselves at the mercy of one of these events and then they wished they never did that. So, you know, only if you want to, you know, it's not mandatory. There's a link down there. You can help, you know, support us here at the observatory and we'll in turn, you know, support other people all around the world because we have people listening to these videos in pretty much every country around the world it's entirely up to you nothing else to say but you know you take care of your loved ones and if you haven't put plans down yeah maybe it's a good time to start thinking about that link down there if you want to help support us I'll say what I usually do you take care as always bye for now